Hi, all learners. Today we are going to learn how to calculate a price to book value, book value per share, which are the sector it is having a relevance, and uh, where it is having a low relevance. See, when we are forming a cricket team, we need a eleven players. When we are playing a chase, we require a two players. So likewise, a different industry. Some are having a lot of requirement of our assets. Some are having a less requirement of asset or less significance of the importance of asset. So when why we look at a book value? Whenever we invest in a business, there is a risk associated. So when we deal with risk and risk riskier assets, so every business is having a different risk level. Suppose you want to open a sugar manufacturing plant. First. Thing it will come to you as a responsibility. You need to acquire a land. Then you need to set up a equipment, plant, everything. So it is having a more risk if you are unable to run that particular business. As an investor, we will think of that if you are unable to run that business, will be having enough, having enough risk. So what we are going to get in return, if you are unable to run the business, then. We will look at a book value now. What is book value? Book value is what net worth you are holding after all your asset and liability. The net asset what you are holding. What is your net worth? That is the as a investor our concern is. Okay, fine. You are doing a sugar mill. You are you are doing a cement business. Fine, you do. But how much worth we are going to get if you fail? So there is no uh, industry standard that two is three, two, four, five, ten. You need to look at this business stock market is having a lot of a historical data. You are not coming uh, like a that stock market recently started and you are investing in a first time in a cement business. You have no idea how much it is going to get. Always look the historical PB ratio. What that business has got. If a company is increasing their asset continuously, asset heavy businesses, their PB ratio will come down. If it is a productive, suppose a company doing a capex, lot of capex, and from an internal act world, and their net worth also, since they are not taking a debt, so their asset is also continuously increasing. So it is a having a they can readjust always. Whenever they will add their asset, the price to book value will come down. Because price is uh, giving a price is here. It is a market price and book value means book value per share. How to calculate? I'll come. So take an example of a say Bank of India. First, I'll come on that. How to calculate? Then I'll come on that. When to look at? When not to look at? See here. If you come on a balance sheet, net worth of the a uh, balance sheet is consist of equity capital reserve borrowing other liability equals to total liability and asset size we get a fixed asset work in progress any other investment other assets so all other fixed asset asset part is all assets we are having now what we need to deduct all liabilities these are the two liability borrowing and other liabilities whether i can say that if i include equity capital and reserve then also we will get the net worth or the book value of the company. Yes, because total asset consists of fixed asset, CWIP, work in progress, investment, other asset, total asset. And we need to what we need to deduct all other liability, liability borrowing, other liability. If to deduct, so what we will, what are the things are left? This two. So if I include this. Just ignore all this thing and just include this. Don't do plus minus of anything. Just include sixty six thousand twenty eight. Say, come on, this sixty six thousand twenty eight plus four thousand five hundred three equals to it is coming seventy thousand five hundred eighty one. That is the net asset or net worth what this particular banking stock is holding for. Us, if it goes in toss, then we will get seventy thousand five hundred eighty one. Now, 
whether you will get an enter 70581 crore no there are how many shareholders total 455 crore shareholders are there so 455 crore shareholders are there that means you will get 155.12 rupees as a book value bank of india book value is 155 rupees so this we are going to get now the market current price is 110 whether it is uh, actually saying that whether it is cheap or whether it is a costly no always whenever you got a understanding okay book value i'm dealing with a risky asset where book value is um, more than a market price value market price is 110 now every business is having their every individual business is having their individual average price what i say uh in a p also industry particular stock is also having a particular p ratio average p ratio always a dhoni will get if you come on a state bank of india sbi they'll be having a price to book value of 1.8 Whereas Bank of India, come on, uh, look at a Bank of India, they are having a 0 0.71. Now, uh, 1.8 is good, 0 0.71 is bad. It's not like that. You need to come on a chart. If you are looking at, if you are analyzing this particular business, come on a price to book value. Just remove a big book value. Look at a historical trend of this particular business. Historically, if you look at, they got a 0 0.456. This is the zone where we can, one can think as a breakout or something, no? On a book value breakout. So this is a 0 0.34 we are getting. So if you if you take your entry over here on a cycle where you feel that banking business is going to do good, it's not only looking at a price to book value and taking your decision. You need to understand a business cycle. If business is doing good, when you are coming to take your decision that where you are taking suppose you are taking at a one that means you are taking almost at a very costly valuation so it is coming down to 0 0.7 so historically bank of india is getting a 0 0.675 that is a fair valuation for bank of india if you come on a state bank of india come on this chart look at a price to book 10 years you open because that is the fun no we are having a historical data why we will make mistake if you look at in 2022 or something no and now they were get they are getting a 1.56 1.56 so 1.5 is a zone where one should actually uh add this not at a 2 2.2 so 1.5 is a fair valuation very reasonable valuation if cycle is a good and if you look at a price wise also price wise also we got a very fantastic good return on a this particular period where price to book value also stable at a reasonable price now why we look at because they are dealing with the riskiest raw material the riskiest raw material is as what money if you lend somebody they may not give back so whenever a company is dealing with the riskiest asset or heavy assets like a cement industry sugar industry i have given example so those know we whether you are able to, will be able to run that business in our banking business whether you can actually properly are giving loan or not what is your asset quality those other things are also important along with the how much net worth you are holding there is no particular always a uh, dhoni will get Better auction price, Raina will get, sorry, Kohli will get, Rohit Sharma will get, Prithvi Shah will get, Rishabh Pant will get a higher valuation. Whereas some other players may not get that much valuation unless they prove themselves. Like if you come on HDFC, this is a, again a private bank. So private bank is having their different, different way of getting a price to book value. If you look at, they get a three. Now look at a hysterical PB. Look at, they are available at a, they used to get at the last 10 years, even if you look, they are available at a, at the lowest point, almost. 
like their average they used to get a 4 4.5 so whether it is a good deal to look at we need to further analyze that okay fine they are getting the lowest pb ratio as of now now if you come on a their asset their plan their growth you need to look at that this was a very good cycle 2022 onwards in that time they have unable to gain the price to book value that what is the problem that is a different analysis what we need to look at again that what i sdfc bank is doing now come on a icici bank at the same period these all are trigger that the company is at a fair valuation or we should take an entry 3 3 is average mean is about 3.2 so 3.2 now it is at a 3.5 so whenever somebody will take at a 3.2 if you look at a price wise also they got a good 1000 to 1400 continuous it is rising so continuously bank is increasing their asset 156 1,80 2,13 2,54 <clears throat> so they are increasing their asset so always whenever a company increase their asset their book value will get adjusted because my current market price whatever way it is running at the same time you are also increasing your asset value so your net worth value also it's getting increase so if you divide by price to book it is also getting adjusted now come on a ganesha housing uh, kind of a business as where it is also a real estate company so real estate company is holding a lot of assets whether it is a dlf so this kind of a asset heavy businesses we always should give a look to the price to book value come on this particular thing no you will look at i conveyed this ganesha housing at <clears throat> chart wise if you come at a 400 level in this particular price now it is at a 1200 level there is a land bank they were having lot of other things they were doing it was mentioned in their so whenever company is realizing their assets and converting into a cash so it will create a lot of uh, valuation for the uh, shareholders because we are investing in a real estate business they are dealing with a land land how they can when what exactly we are happening in our real estate business you are buying a floor and making it a pizza giving a differentiated value getting a added value so you are having a land you are just uh, taking some ingredients cements bricks and all and making it at 100 rupee and selling it at 200 300 rupee like a pizza floor example i have given so in product you are inflating and getting a good market price so whenever you are realizing your asset and converting into end asset which is creating a lot of value for your book and for your financial statement definitely it is going to create a lot of uh, book value asset will increase so automatically the investor will be happy that we are getting a more, more more margin of safety companies continuously creating wealth this is a very simple way to look at a real estate sector as well if you come on a pb ratio you will see that pb ratio has given a dip from it has gone to 9 so 9 to it came down to 4 the reason of what because company is continuously increasing asset as price is also increasing price and book value also getting a acceleration and price to book value can be again a deceleration we may see when a company is adding lot of net worth if you look at from 805 to it has gone to 1246 1647 so net worth is getting increase so whenever a net worth is getting increase we will see the deceleration of the price so lot of realization of is happening in this particular company so this company is doing extremely good so whenever you look at look at a, what is the base time 2023 at a lowest level 2.4 if you uh, go on my tweet or anywhere no i mentioned about this particular industry it has given us this much we got a good price acceleration the same thing to be looked at when to ignore when you are not dealing with a a company which are not dealing with a heavy assets say it sector it sector mainly dealing with the employees in projects see for good employees are there they are the resources 
so those resources are adding value but it will not reflect in accounting terms if a person is resigning who is came from a x amazon x flipkart or x anything and adding a lot of value to your business now if he is resigning you are going to lose your business if you are losing your business what is going to happen the your future earning also will get a deceleration so this companies gets lot of value from a how their resources are not from a price to book value because having a lot of intangible assets and it may get a 50 60 20 30 anything again you need to look at any it businesses if you come say wipro or tcs um, if i take an example of all these thing they are getting a price to book value of 3.71 say it is uh, infosys infosys 8.53 price to book value they are getting if you look at their peers also we will see that some are getting a 5 uh, 3.5 8.58 kind of a so where price to book value they are getting a 8x to uh, book value 9x to book value it is having a very less importance to us resources are their asset are they growing or not what is their average if you really interested i am not interested so i am not talking about this particular businesses now say price to book the historical price to book is saying 13.3 they got a 17 so look at historically what exactly this kind of average what they are getting but it is having a less relevant to it sector so don't look at uh, price to book value on it sector instead of that look at a growth how they are doing that is a different topic how their cash flow is so i'm not going to discuss in this particular thing and next is say fmcg sector nestle nestle is having a lot of uh, brand value patent goodwill so lot of intangible asset will be there and they will be getting a very high reputation uh, value even though they are not holding that much asset if you look at 54x of their price to book value they are getting so it is fmcg sector is having a less relevance because nestle is holding lot of a brand value but brand value we cannot like if we, if they go on a bankruptcy or somewhere no we will not get anything it has happened in a kingfisher as well now you if you come on a peers also you will see that on an average no most of the uh britannia is getting a 37 so all all will be getting a median is a 45 <clears throat> so it is having a low relevance whenever you are dealing with the asset heavy industry they are having a relevance with or risky industry is having a relevance so for look, look at a price to book value whenever you look at a price to book value try to look at historical price to book value of the company what they got if a company is increasing their asset look at what asset they are increasing whether they are going to re- realize or not and those businesses will create and if you are getting at a lowest median price no it will create a will okay thanks and if you like this particular uh, topic do share with others as well uh, let others also learn and if you want any other topic do let me know